last month hasn't been a good one for the right wing. Stephen Harper is getting laughed at everywhere for his lame-ass throne speech. His whole government is looking at contempt charges for hiding evidence on the Afghan torture issue. His minister for women had a complete meltdown in Charlottetown Airport and bullshitted the world so badly about women's rights in Canada these days that Stevie Wonder can see through it. Her husband, a former Tory poster boy for tough anti-drug laws, managed to shake off charges of drunk driving and cocaine possession under very shitty circumstances. And Sarah Palin admitted that when she was a kid, she was a very happy patient of Canada's public health system. The same one she slags every time that the teabaggers are around. It's pretty sad, really. And so is the right's way of defending it. I never thought there'd be a day when I would miss the assholes in Swift Boat, but here we are. At least those guys used some facts when putting down John Kerry as he ran against Commandant Bush. They were totally superficial and selectively hypocritical facts, but they were still facts. These days, if you poke a hole at conservative's logic, and I use that term very loosely right now, you'll usually just get called a traitor, an abomination, or socialist. Or they'll just tell you to fuck off, sometimes with a semi-clever spelling to get around anti-swearing filters on some websites. Or, strangely, they might just go BOO over and over again. I don't get this. And this isn't the stereotype of the so-called loony lefty. Incidentally, I'm a moderate. I honestly don't understand what these numbskulls are trying to accomplish. Calling people random names for no reason, using monosyllabic groan noises, and complaining about things so basic that you might as well scream that there's no such thing as a sun doesn't make you look bold. It makes you look like a fucking tool. Why do you think most conservatives with a shred of sense are staying away from idiots like Sarah Palin? Let me explain it like this. Say that you're on trial for something really serious, like murder. Say that you're also defending yourself. The smart thing to do would be to rationally poke holes in the prosecutor's evidence and witnesses. Or, if you have no hope of getting out of it, just take responsibility for what you're accused of. If instead you just put down everyone in the courtroom and scream like a baby Yoko Ono, not only will you lose in about 10 minutes, but you will probably be arrested for contempt. And if you're a lawyer, you'll lose your license in a heartbeat. Just ask Jack Thompson. Now look, I know that conservatives pride themselves on appealing to average folk, even though more often than not they're actually loyal to big business, but that's a different matter. But the fact is, there's a big difference between being down-earth and being a moron with a temper tantrum. Carrying signs that threaten anyone different from you won't exactly convince anyone that you're not a nutcase and a terrorist. Calling someone a traitor because one of their ancestors is Russian just makes you look like a douche that doesn't know that the Cold War has been over for 20 years. Saying that certain shady actions by your heroes are nonsense when anyone who can read can prove you wrong in a cold minute won't exactly make you win or be smarter than a fifth grader. Do you get it? No? Well, tough shit. That's life. Enough said.